What's going on guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a method on how to stream to multiple platforms at the same time. And we'll pretty much stick to Twitch and YouTube, but the method I'll show you will also involve adding other platforms if you want to. I'm not totally sure why you'd want to stream to multiple platforms at the same time. Maybe you're trying to feel out which one you can grow more in, which is alright. But in my experience, most of the time people just pick one platform that they want to grow their audience on. Now before I get into this tutorial, I want to remind you guys stick to the end of the video because there was something I did this morning that was pretty epic. Um, it was awesome. I, I want, I'm not going to spoil you anything, but just stick to the end of the video because there might be some special guests that appear that you may not have ever thought I would see or you'd see in this video with me. Anyways, let's get into this tutorial. So at first when I'm figuring out how to stream the multiple platforms at the same time using the Elgato Game Capture, I loaded up on my Windows PC, Elgato Game Capture plugged in everything correctly, that was working, then I spun up OBS Studio, but then when I tried to use the uh, video capture tool to be able to stream from the capture card as well, at the same time that the um, Elgato Game Capture software was, was uh, capturing from it, it just didn't work. You couldn't use the capture card on two softwares at the same time. So what other options do we got now? Well, the first option here is a tool you can use called Restream.io. I'll leave a link in the description below. You guys can go check out this site and follow along this tour if you like. But all you have to do on this site is just sign up. But I'm already logged in, so right here is my dashboard. And what I want to pay attention to is this right-hand side right here where I have this URL and this stream key. So if you have OBS installed already, if you don't, I put a link in the description below for OBS Studio as well. It's a great free screen recording software, probably the best one out there, and it also works with the Elgato Game Capture. It's a beast. But in OBS Studio, you want to go to your settings, and then you want to go to stream, and then right here, you see the stream type? You want to change that stream type to custom streaming server. So you remember that URL and that stream key we just had? You want to go back over here. You want to copy this URL, go back into OBS, paste that in, and then for the stream key, you want to copy this. Um, I have mine blacked out because it's showing right now, but you always want to keep this hidden so that no one can steal your stream and put it as theirs. So I'm going to paste that for the stream key, and then you can just say OK. Now once you've done those two things, you can press the Add Channel button, and this is where you can add those different platforms that you have, such as YouTube and Twitch. So if I want to add my Twitch, I can just connect my Twitch that I'm already logged into if I wanted to. For the sake of the video, I would add all the platforms that I'd use, but I'm not gonna use this. This is just to show you guys who want to do this. Pretty straightforward, just add your channel. Over on the Titles tab, once you've added some of your channels, you can put in the titles of the games that you'll be playing. Social Alerts tab, this is where you can just send out a message to your followers, such as on Twitter or Facebook, when you're going live. On the Monitor tab, this is where you can monitor your stream and the health of it. And the other important tab here would be the Chat tab that I just selected, and that allows you to launch the chat app if you install it, so that you can see all the different chats from each platform that you might be streaming on that you connected to. So that's Restream.io, pretty good website. If you get more involved with it, it may cost you money in the future, but for the free services that it offers, it's pretty nice and it allows you to stream to a bunch of different platforms if you'd like. Now for the second method I have, what if you don't feel like creating an account on Restream and then having to connect your Twitch and your YouTube to that platform? You're like, yeah, you don't wanna do that. You just wanna, you want something that you can just do within OBS and Elgato. Well, unlike in the beginning of the video where I couldn't connect the capture card to both OBS and Elgato at the same time, what I can do is do a screen record of it through OBS. So on screen right now, I'm gonna bring up the capture card software. This is what's running. At the moment, I have um, just a little thing up here, and I could stream to YouTube right now to my main channel if I'd like to. But what if I want to stream to Twitch at the same time? So if I switch back to OBS, what we're going to need is a display capture of the screen so that I can see what is being recorded in the Elgato software. The main thing you want to select here is the plus button in Sources after you've created the scene, and then you can use the display capture, which will display like capture the screen on your computer and you can also use the window capture but I just noticed some little bit of flickering for some reason maybe my computer's not up to spec for streaming at the same time but essentially I can adjust this screen live right now 
to fit to the capture software. Like I can just keep adjusting and adjusting and adjusting until it fits the screen, which is kind of hard to show because I'm trying to record the screen at the same time. But I think you catch my drift here. <laughs> So that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you stick around for the end here because I had an amazing experience this morning doing a little walk. That's why I actually have this t-shirt on me right now. I got it for free from a special YouTuber. I'm not trying to be all goo goo gaga for these people I met today, but um, you know, they're just like us, humans. No biggie. They're just a little bit cooler, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but this was cool either way. Just, just watch this. Anyways, guys, it's a little bit rainy today. But I'm deciding to do a run walk event for ovarian cancer. Um, Gina and Jesse are putting this thing together. You might know them. Big, big YouTubers from um, Prank vs. Prank channel from back in the day. I've had people in my family die from cancer, so I figure why not show, show a little support. And I also get to meet Jesse and Gina, which seem to be two pretty cool people. But let me head to the spot and at least investigate here. Let's see if they're there and maybe they'll want to. I don't know, maybe I can put them in the vlog a little bit here. No guarantees, at least show them, see what they're doing. Okay. Just wanna have a little proof, I met Jesse. Yo, it's proof, it's <laughs> yeah. proof, he's right here, he's right here. And Gina, Hi. what's up, what's up? Yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, I'm gonna do like a little freeze frame just so I have y'all, look at that. <laughs> thank you, appreciate it, thank you guys. Literally, right before I made this video, I met Gina and Jesse. It was an awesome experience. Uh, they definitely gave me a lot of motivation to make videos on YouTube. They inspired me a lot. That's why I really wanted to meet them. And it was just so surreal and, and really cool. I just couldn't believe I was seeing them. She's probably not even gonna see this video. Um, maybe she would have if I made it its own separate video, but I just wasn't feeling like filming so much, but I, I just really wanted to just enjoy the experiences kind of hanging around them. And I got to talk to some other fans of theirs, which was pretty cool. But anyways, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like it up if uh, it helped you out. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial at all, leave a comment down below. I can get back to you as soon as I can. And besides that, I will see you guys later. See ya.